Hi, welcome to MUTV News. I'm Evan Peterson, and I am sitting down with the final ticket of MUSG candidates, Kyle Weldon and Natalie Pickney. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thank, Thank you. you. It's the last day of the election. It is the eve of it. Let's talk a little bit about your campaign. You've done a lot of PR events to get out your message to the students. But for those who don't know you, briefly introduce yourself and a little bit about your platform. Sure. So uh, my name is Kyle Welton. I'm currently the legislative vice president for MUSG. And I'm Natalie Pinkney. I'm currently the vice president of membership for our Panhellenic Association. And uh, our, um, our platform, one of the things that Natalie coined from the start was that it's really is a living document. Um, the issues that we care about isn't where it ends. In fact, it's only where it starts. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're really excited about adding more to it. But we have kind of five core principles to, mm -hmm. to a, an effective MUSG. A commitment to fiscal responsibility, academic success, um, increased diversity on campus, outreach, and a commitment to sustainability. Mm -hmm. Definitely one thing that we want to do is work with Sodexo and co-sponsoring reusable to-go containers, as well as updating equipment in the RecPlex Rec Center and Resident Hall. Um, and then also under like diversity, it's like the diversity task force that was actually on our campus over a year ago. Um, we want to reinstate that and just continuing the conversation on it. So uh, that's a pretty interesting platform. It was a debate this past Sunday. Yes. And got a lot of good response from there. Mm -hmm. And speaking about student responses and the type of feedback you've been getting, uh, Marquette Tribune had a law, I had a, a poll recently mm -hmm. uh, that was published yeah. in today's edition. And you guys are leading the polls. Yeah. You guys yeah. are up in the polls. They said you guys were most favorably supported. 47.5% people say they want you guys as their uh, next president and vice president. How's that feel? It's, it, it feels great. I mean, when this morning we knew that it was going to hit the Tribune, and I just remember looking at it. I was actually in the middle of one of our lab research meetings, and I was like, oh, my gosh, this is, this is so great. Like, yeah. it's just great to know that students, you know, hear our platform and know that, you know, we're really about this new vision of student government. Yeah, it's exciting, um, but I think Natalie and I both, both know that the real test uh, comes starting at 12.01 this uh, tomorrow morning, technically. <laughs> um, but it is... It is a, uh, a boost, and we're, we're really excited to see this kind of um, engagement coming out with our campaign. Yeah. Now, it was still a very narrow population of the students that did yeah. respond out to this poll. Mm -hmm. Do you think that will carry over into the elections tomorrow? I hope so. Yeah, I think it will actually help, too. I think students don't really know what's going on so, since we've been out this past day really on the campaign trail outside of Rainer. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of students don't even know there is an election. so. Um, for the people who follow the Tribune and everyone that's been retweeting it, I think it just will give us more publicity. Excuse yeah. me. So this close to the end of the election and the end of campaigning, tell me briefly about kind of what it's been like, your life on the campaign. Are you guys excited that it's almost over, or is it just beginning? I, I think that there's, I mean, it's more passion at this point. Mm -hmm. That's what keeps you going. Uh, I told Natalie last week when we started doing this, I said, you know what's the worst about these campaign stops? She's like, what? I said, I'm too excited to go to sleep at night. <laughs> um, it's not that you're um, exhausted. You're just so excited you get to speak with all these students and really see what they care about. Mm -hmm. And that's the moments that I live for. Yeah. Um, right. and, and at this point, it's, uh, it's passion, I would say, more than excitement. Mm -hmm. But you know, that's also because there's some nervous, uh, nervous right. feelings that are setting in. Yeah. Right. Well, thank you both very much for sitting down with MUTV News. Remember, the election is tomorrow, so all you guys get out there and be sure to vote for the MUSG president and vice president. I'm Evan Peterson. Have a good night.